to change our lives forever. Building our nations and our homes, restoring sights to the blind, bringing hope to the hopeless. It goes beyond language barriers, 'cause it's a God carrier. It's our messenger angel to the rest of the world. It's rap so deep. Our reality is giving our lives a meaning. Rap so deep. Our reality is giving our day a lift. Directing our path, enlightening our world. Rap so deep. Our reality. Has come to change our lives forever. Today on Rhapsody of Realities. I mean, Pastor Anita is communicating this rhema. Hallelujah. The word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us, and we beheld, we beheld his, his glory. glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father. With our messenger angel on your favorite daily devotional program this March. A warm welcome to all our beautiful viewers from all around the world. You are guaranteed to be positioned and built up in the Word of God every day. What you make happen for others, the Lord will make happen for you. At every point in time, you are being given an opportunity to make history. Stay tuned. A very warm welcome to you, our beautiful viewers from all around the world. Thank you so much for joining us once again on another exciting episode of your favorite daily devotional program, Rhapsody of Realities. It's such a pleasure being with you today. And you know what? I have a very pleasant surprise for you. Guess who is with me on the set today? Oh yeah, you guessed right. Dikin Bai over there, day. Hello all our wonderful viewers from all around the world. Happy New Year to you all. Yes, indeed. It's our year of the Word of God and our month of favor. Hallelujah. And we've been experiencing so much favor yes, already in this are. month. And you know, it's been such a glorious year. It has and the been. Rhapsody of Realities has been bringing us, as usual, that word that has been building us up, that has been inspiring us and staying us Hallelujah. on to greater works. Yes. You know, the revelation from the word that is making us mature, praise Hallelujah. God. Transforming, Transforming our, lives. our lives. Glory praise to God. God. I'm sure it's been a glorious year for you as well. How has it been? Tell us, share your testimonies with us. Write to us, send us an email. Let's hear from you. I mean, we've been having a great time already this month of March with the Rhapsody of Realities. Yeah. I hope you have your copy. If you don't, you should make sure you visit our website to get your copy immediately. And don't miss out on what Pastor Chris and Pastor Anita are sharing with us in this month of yes. March. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's been, the month has been loaded. And it's not enough for you to join us and watch us on, I mean, share the devotional with you on the program. You need to actually have your own copy such that you can go back and do your own private study and meditation on the Word of God. Just like what Dikimbaya said, this is our year with the Word. And the Rhapsody of Realities is the perfect package that gives you the dose, the right dose, Hallelujah. you know, of the <laughs> Word, the right <laughs> meal for you to just sit on it and feed your spirit strong. And Dikimbaya, today is not any different. We have a super word from the Holy Ghost through our woman of God, Pastor Anita, the to the whole world. Within. The glory within. Hallelujah. Amazing. Amazing. Glory oh, God. hallelujah. I mean, this is an exciting it message. It is. It's, there's so much rema in this hallelujah. message. Hallelujah. And you're going to be so blessed, you know. So I want you to join us after the break and follow us as we study the message together. And I'm sure the Spirit of God will communicate this to you mm. in the way that you will comprehend it and be able to run with it. Amen. Praise God. Amen. We're going to have a great time today on the program. We're so glad to be with you today. See you. Right after, after the, the break. break. God bless you.
Looking at the menu of life, we are faced with so many choices. Making the right choice makes all the difference. Rhapsody of Realities, the true meal of God's Word for a life of peace, joy, and unending success. Please call any of these numbers now displayed on your screen to place your orders or order online at www.rhapsodyofrealities.org. Rhapsody of Realities, giving your day a lift. You're welcome back. So I'm sure you're ready to roll with us today with the Holy Ghost. We're going through today's devotional together. Today is Thursday, the 15th of March, and Pastor Anita is teaching us on the glory within. Hallelujah. Our theme scripture is taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. Pastor Anita quotes for us, But we all, with open face, beholding as in a glass, the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. Second Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. But we all, with open face, beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord. I mean, we are beholding the glory of mm -hmm. the Lord and are changed into the same image from glory to glory. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Beholding the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. You to read it from the Amplified yes, Deacon, let me read it from the Amplified Version. It even says it's in, it amplifies it. <laughs> Praise God. It says, and all of us, as with unveiled face, because we continued to behold in the word of God. So the, the, we're beholding in the Bible, in the word of God, the glory of God. It says, as in a mirror, the glory of the Lord. So as we behold the word of God like a mirror, the glory of the Lord, they say uh, we are constantly being transfigured into his very own image in an ever-increasing splendor and from one degree of glory to another. Mm -hmm. For this comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. I mean, that just gives you a clearer picture that as we study the Word of God, we are changed because as we study, we are actually beholding when you look at a mirror what do you see you, you expect to see yourself and so as we look into the word of God we are seeing ourselves from the perspective of God so we're beholding the word and we're seeing a mirror telling us about the glory of God and as we continue to look at that glory the Bible says we are transfigured we are changed, we are metamorphosed into the same image, into the same image from, glory from glory to, to glory. glory. So know, it's a progressive, transformation. a progressive transformation. It doesn't happen, you know, in an instant. That is why you have to continue to look. Mm -hmm. That is why you can't look away. You have to just continue mm -hmm. to look so that that work will be perfected in you. Praise Hallelujah. You know, as you were saying it, there were things that were coming to my mind, scriptures that were coming to my mind. Yeah. But then I was like, let's even start with what Pastor Anita <laughs> has to tell us. Hallelujah. Praise God. I mean, Pastor Anita begins to say in Exodus 34 verse 28, she says, we find an interesting account of how Moses was in the presence of God for 40 days mm. and 40 nights where he received the Ten Commandments. Ordinarily, it wouldn't have taken a whole day to receive the Ten Commandments. Mm since it consisted of just a few sentences. So why did Moses need to be in the presence of God for 40, 40 days, days and 40 nights to receive the Ten Commandments? Mm. Why? <laughs> why did he need to be in the presence of God that long mm. to receive the Ten Commandments? Pastor Anita says, for Moses, it was more than the Ten Commandments. Yeah. As he listened to God speak for those commandments. Mm. I, I want you to, 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 to hear, those, hear what she says. She says, as he listened, okay, to God speak for those commandments. What was God speaking? Words, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, as God was speaking for the word of God. Yes. It says, as he listened to God speak for those commandments, all he could see 
was the, the glory, glory of, of God. God. This is this is Pastor Anita mm. beginning to show us, okay, the the experience of Moses, yeah. beginning to communicate to us by the Holy Ghost what Moses' experience was there on the mountain. Mm. She says, there as he was listening to God speak for those commandments, all he could see was the, glory, the glory of God. God. He contemplated and meditated on the doxa, the glory of God, until the glory so rubbed off on him and began to, began to radiate from his on face. His face. Mm. I mean, that's, that's the experience. You know, th there's, there's such a thing as, the, you know, the, the, your encounter, so to say, with the Word of God. And that's what we experience when we study the Rhapsody of Realities. Yeah. As Pastor Anita and Pastor Chris begin to communicate to us, you know, their own meditation. Of the Word. Of the Word. You know, you know, Pastor says, these are my meditations. Mm -hmm. You know, my, my, the, the things that the Spirit of God is showing me. And mm -hmm. I'm sharing them with you. Now, let, let me... Um, you, you were, we were reading at the beginning when we were talking about the, the glory of God and being changed into the same image. Yes. You know, one of the scriptures that came to my mind then was Romans 8 verse 29, where the Bible says, For whom he did foreknow, hmm. he also did predestinate to be conformed Alleluia, to the to image, the of, image his of his Son. God wants us to be conformed. That means to you are being transformed to the image exactly. of the Exactly. So we are looking at that word. Wow. Beholding the glory of the Lord as we are looking at the word. And we have been changed into the same image from glory to glory, which is what the Lord is saying here. Paul understood that. Paul was communicating that. That look, he, the whom he did for no, he also predestined to be conformed to, to the, the image, image of, his, of son. his son. And you know, uh, listen to John's. Let me, let me show you John's revelation of, of, of this thing. Um, in the book of First John, First John, I mean, we had we we're reading where um, Pastor Anita said mm. that as Moses listened to God speak yes. the commandments, he contemplated, he contemplated the, glory the glory of God. Now look at John, what John was saying in First John one. He said that which was from the beginning. Mm -hmm. He's talking about what? About <laughs> Jesus. Glory <laughs> to God. He says which we have heard. Mm which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled, Hand of, of the, the word, word of life. <laughs> of the word Hallelujah. of life. That says, became flesh. Look Hallelujah. at what he says. He says, for the life was manifested, mm. and we have seen it and bear witness, and show unto you that eternal life, mm. which was with the Father and was manifested, manifested. to us. The word was coming to Moses. Yes. And he was contemplating the glory Hallelujah. of the word. John says, the word came to us. The word of life was manifested to us. Mm -hmm. And look at John's revelation of what about this glory. This same thing Pastor Anita is sharing to us about. I mean, that's what Pastor Anita is saying in John 1 verse 14. Right. The word has glory. Glory to the God. The word has glory. The word, the word has, has glory. glory. John 1, 14. And the word was made flesh. This is the same John saying it. Yes. I mean, Pastor Anita is communicating this rema. Hallelujah. The word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. And we, we beheld, beheld his, his glory. glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father. Full of the grace word has glory. glory. The Hallelujah. word of life that was manifested to John. Mm -hmm. The word that was manifested to Moses has glory. Hallelujah. And they contemplated this glory. John saw this glory. He beheld this glory. He said, mm -hmm. we beheld this glory. That's what Moses beheld to mm -hmm. the glory of the word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it rubs off on you. So you much. are changed. Metamorphosed Hallelujah. to the same image. And you know, when, when Moses received the glory, he received it on his physical body. Hallelujah. Such that his face shone. But we are not of that level. We mm. are born again. Mm. We are products of the word. The word has given birth to us. And so we receive the glory in our spirit. In our and so it's not something that is temporal. Moses' glory shone for a while. He had to cover his face for a while. And then it wore, it, it wore off. But our own glory is permanent. Mm. It's eternal. Because we have Praise received God. the life of God Praise that is God. eternal. 